morning. We're in Nashville, Tennessee. We are going to be building a swim pond for Derek Johnson. We've got a pretty awesome crew. Can't wait to get started. We found a small dump here that we had to get out of the way because the wetland was going to be underneath it. She was a little larger than we thought, but uh, we got her loose. finding the tooth. So we're going to continue the scavenger hunt. you have any idea how much the tooth fairy gives for an excavator tooth? Potentially ruin the whole job. So search continues. I'm getting ready to jump in my truck and run to the rental store because I think a metal detector will be our fastest way to find this tooth. Gotta find the tooth. Gotta find it. Makeup face on. So here we are. Um, we're, we're just we're fighting the mud and the access, trying to figure out what's happening out here right now. Uh, we got about an 18-inch deep shelf we're working on, and we've we've got a lot of great change on this side of the pond where we're working at over here. So we're gonna cut this edge back and create a kind of a curving stone wall along the top, so that this isn't just a straight drop off into the pond. And uh, we're having to build everything up on the back side and level it all off, so it's taking a lot of time to move dirt, and the mud's just making it a little sweeter. Yeah, that's all hot. How much? It's only like two, and then as it gets closer here, it's like it's up to three. So I believe what we have here, this little fatty. I think this guy is a trapdoor spider. We found him in the excavation. So what they do is they'll actually make a tunnel down in the ground that they hide in. They don't even really make webs outside the tunnel. And they will just wait to ambush their prey as they walk by. So they make the trapdoor out of grasses, pretty much whatever's around that's small enough for them to do. And then when something tickles those grasses, it's almost like your general spider's web. It activates connected to them. So they know when to open the door, snatch, and they pull it right underground and do their thing. You're back again. Well, it's not raining now. Now the water is coming <laughs> from a pipe. <laughs> oh, Which runs directly through the center of the hole. Apparently, here in Nashville, we run our main water lines to the house using PEX. One would have thought that this went to a hydrant somewhere in the yard, possibly, or a spigot, or an auto filler, or it could be the main line coming right in through the center of our pond. So that's what we're dealing with now. Dig out a pipe. Dig a hole, fill it back in. How many pond builders does it take to fix a PEX line? Well, <laughs> it takes five and one guy runs dang out filling the hole back in. Is it fitting? Yep. I think the copper one's 